Hi, I've been doing further work using the um, MIDI facilities available in the development version of Sonic Pi, and I've been using it in, in conjunction with an ancient uh, synth module by Korg, the X5DR, which I happen to have, um, which is about uh, 20 years old, but um, it's uh, got some useful facilities. And if you look at the screen, you can see that uh, I've entitled the program that we're going to have a look at Synth Workout. And what it's going to do is to mix together um, synths both internal to Sonic Pi and external ones from the Korg X5DR. And um, I've arranged it so that we can choose any of the two banks of synths which are readily available. Um, the first one here, Pipe Dreams X Piano and so on which you can see in this section, and the second bank, uh, which are standard GM um, items down here. And uh, it's possible to send MIDI commands from Sonic Pi to the X5DR to enable it to select any of these, um, depending upon the numbers that you choose. And um, once we've chosen them, I've got a little um, definition here, SYN name, which is going to be fed in with an index number and the bank that we've chosen, either the top one or the bottom one there, and it will return the number of the name of the synth that we've actually got in use. Uh, this second little routine here, which I've called BS for Bank Select, uh, we feed in two numbers, the bank and the number of the synth program that we want, and it will actually select those. And it does so by using Sonic Pi commands MIDI raw to send a stream of numbers to um, the module. And uh, these first two uh, num uh, commands here uh, select the bank that we want, um, either the first one at the top there or the second one. And then after a slight pause, which I find is necessary in order for the X5DR to uh, reliably receive the commands and have time to, to um, implement them, we send um, the program uh, that we actually want to uh, select, the synth we want to select, which is held in N. And then I'm using the first of these routines here, sin name up above there, to simply print on the screen over here the synth that we've chosen. Uh, to make the program a bit more interesting, I've got two further features which I've added. A live loop here, which is going to vary the value of a variable f, it's going to sweep it up and down between the limits of 0.05 and 0.95. And this is going to be used to set the amplitude of the internal synth, and it's going to be used to set the um, effective amplitude of the external one by controlling the velocity with which the uh, effective key is pressed when the synth is um, activated. And the second one, which is an almost identical loop, is going to change the valuable variable p between 0.9 down to minus 0.9. And this is going to be used for the pan values. And so we're going to actually sweep the external synth from full left to full right, and at the same time, the, um, the other one from full right to full left and backwards and forwards. Uh, the main um, function I've got here, which is P together, play together, is going to play on a given internal synth, a note for a given duration, and in a given channel in the MIDI, it's going to send that information out, and F is going to give us the volume setting we've just been discussing. Here is the command that plays the synth, and the second one is first of all going to set the pan value of the um, MIDI synth, using a MIDI control message, um, and then it's going to play the MIDI note again, and the, the velocity with which it is um, struck um, in the range 0 to 1 is going to be 1 minus F. So when F is quite large, this will make the synth uh, sound loud, and it'll make the MIDI note sound soft, and vice versa as the value of F changes. We're going to use a, um, a sequence of notes from the minor pentatonic scale over two octaves, and this is just setting the initial uh, one we're going to use in C, starting at note C3. And the initial synth internally we're going to use is Profit. Uh, I'm going to put the whole of the playing section inside an FX level command, which you can see here, and that is so that after it has been running for 270 seconds, I'm going to start fading it out. 
and that's simply going to use the uh, control the level um, and in a loop here we're going to drop it down 0.02 at a time until it gets down to 0.02 and then to give a slightly smoother finish we're going to drop it down in smaller increments until the sound is reduced to zero and when it gets there it's going to set this kill it flag equal to one and that will stop all of the live loops which are running from running um, so that they don't just go on indefinitely but the program does end. Now to produce the sound we're going to use two other effects the G-verb FX and the Echo FX which are nested here and then um, because we're playing an external synth we need to get the audio from that back into Sonic Pi and to do that we're going to use the sound in stereo synth and what that does is that we feed from the external synth the audio back in to Sonic Pi and it comes in at this sound in stereo and um, this is going to effectively record it for um, eight seconds and then it's going to go back and start another buffer worth and I'm setting the amplitude of this to two because the signal coming back from the um, external synth is slightly low and so that just boosts it a little bit. One final feature is that I'm going to change the tempo of the notes as we play by using the um, use BPM mul multiplier command down here and we're going to initially increase it by a factor of 1.05 each time we go around this loop and eventually of course it'll get up to a high value and so when the current um, BPM value is greater than 180 we're going to change the multiplier to less than 1 which is going to start decreasing the tempo and then when it gets down to less than 30 we're going to change it to an increasing ratio again so the um, tempo is going to go up and down as we run. Now you'll notice that in this live loop we've got the tick command and what I'm going to do is every time this is divisible by 12 which I can do by using the look percent 12 that's taking the modulus value when you divide by 12 when that's equal to 0 then we're going to actually choose another index number and another bank of the two available and we're going to choose a new external sync and here's the command which is going to say which one we're choosing and this one is going to actually do the choice for us. We're also going to choose a different range of notes by changing the base note of our scale here in the range of from 40 to 72. Still minor pentatonic and uh, 10 notes to choose from uh, over two octaves. Then we're going to also choose the internal synth by taking this list of synths and choosing one of them at random and that's going to print on the screen. And so that we dealt with the uh, change in the um, tempo and the final thing is going to be the call down here to the routine we saw up above which is going to play the pair of notes. So it sounds a bit complex but when we start it playing I hope you'll see that it sounds quite nice and it really is quite a good workout of external input and internal synths both producing notes. So enjoy listening to it. Here we go.
they were reached the end and the kill it variable is set to one and it stops all the live loops running and leaves Sonic Pi finished and in the state ready for the next program to run. So I hope you've enjoyed watching that. Uh, thank you for your company.